Avengers Endgame spoilers ahead. This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Ultra Slow Motion. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution at 30 frames per second. You are free to use your own settings. Now the first step is to import your files into the project. I am using this Avengers Endgame scene where Tony Stark going to snap his finger. It was an emotional moment but we can add more emotions to it, by slowing it down. As you can see, this video clip is only 3 seconds longer, but we need to make the duration of 10 seconds. Let's do it. For slowing down footage, simply right click on it, go to the time, and choose the time stretch. A new window will appear right onto the screen. You might have seen this step in the previous video. This tutorial is similar to the previous one, but just a little different. For slowing down a video, you can change the stretch factor, as well as the duration of the video. Let's change the duration value to 10 seconds, so that it will match up with the duration of my timeline. As you can see, the stretch factor has been increased by itself. So instead of making a video 50% slower, I can simply enter the duration value, and it will match up with my requirement. Hit OK, and then RAM preview it. As you can see here, the video looks a little choppy. Because it doesn't have the frame to fill in between. So After Effects is doing its best to fill those frames, by duplicating the before and after frames. If you press page down key, you can simply see one frame at a time, but if you are using a MacBook, which doesn't even provide a full keyboard, then use the command, plus right arrow key, to see the individual frames. You're goddamn right. As you can see here, only a few frames having a real change, most of them look similar, and they don't have any movement. We need to add some movements on these static frames. Luckily we can fix it very easily. Simply right click on the video, then go to the frame blending, and choose pixel motion. It will generate the frames between, that will look smooth. Most of the time, it will look nice. But there are many cases, where it won't work at all. We will cover it in this video later. In this video clip, we don't have so much motion, the character is staying just on the screen, and nothing is moving so much. This is why the video looking better. If you want, you can make the video slower. And most of the time it will work fine. Let's change the stretch factor value to a higher number. Cool. Play this video clip, and this is still smooth. Yes, science! But this option won't work every time. Let me show you what I mean. I'm importing this video clip, where the motion is too much. Let's place it onto the timeline, and quickly trim this video clip so that I can find the exact point. I am choosing this section, where this man jumps, and creating too much motion and movement. This video clip is one and half second longer. Let's change the time stretch value of it. I am keeping the value of 10 seconds, so that it will cover up my entire timeline. Everything else will remain the same. 
Now right click on it, go to the frame blending, and choose pixel motion. Play this video clip, and you can see the video is slower, but there are some artifacts appearing into the frame. For example, the hand is overlapping the background, this is why it is creating this type of art. This is why it won't work on every single video clip. You should choose wisely, which video clip you are going to use. You didn't hear that from me. Let's find a point where the object is not moving too much. And also changing the new time stretch value to a higher number. Now play this video clip once again, and it is looking much better. See, I told you. So, this is what I have for you today. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace. Design video products faster, with Envato Elements. Get unlimited download after effects template, stock footage, fonts, music files, and web templates. Visit the Envato Elements. Check the first link in the description.